out over the lowland country that we're headed for the border. Just a minute. Hello? Speaking. Thanks. Okay. They've come into the car. Now cover all the roads and get going. Think they've had a big enough start? Yes. They've been gone a half an hour. That's good. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'm sure, but the governor's sure. No, I'm not. As warden here, it's my job to keep prisoners in prison. They'll be back. Young Tom Hanlon escaped with the others, and he's been a model prisoner. He's due for parole in six months. There's more at stake than Tom Hanlon, warden. If we don't get that stolen money back, hundreds of ranchers in Piedmont County are going to be ruined. And if I know Link Daggett and his gang, he'll lead us right to where it is. It's a desperate chance, but suppose he doesn't lead you to where it is. Yeah, I'll take the responsibility. I'll keep in touch with you. Thanks very much. I told you I'd get you out of prison, and I did. Well, we ain't clear yet. Oh, they'll never catch us again. I'm too smart for them. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Daggett. Hey, what's eating you, kid? I got you out, didn't I? Yeah, sure. I don't like the way you said that. Come on, we're wasting time. The kid's all right. Where's the horses we're supposed to have? You'll get horses. You take the clothes and tie them back. Well, we better get out of this place. Come on, Lord, let's get going. Come on, mount up, kid. Okay. Come on, let's get out of here before they get out of here. Wait a minute. I want to ask the kid a question first. Maybe you're sorry you broke out with us, are you, kid? Well, I didn't have much choice. That ain't answering the question. You want to go back? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Nothing stopping you. Thanks. Anybody else got any ideas? No, I'll be with you, Daggett. Oh, we're second. sticking with you, Daggett. We all stick together. Never did have any time for quitters. Besides, he knew too much. Come on. Like a good old jackrabbit stew the way I fixes it. Uh, some folks ain't got no manners. Always want to visit at mealtime. Tom. Tom Hamlin. Surprised you, didn't I, Fuzzy? Well, what in tarnation are you doing here? I escaped. I, I didn't want to escape. Don't talk. Just take it easy. Thanks, Buzzy. Thanks. I didn't want to escape. Take it easy. I 
should get you to a doctor. It's too late, Fuzzy. It's too late now. Did that Daggett do that? You was a fool for going with him, Tom. I reckon you had no choice with a gun in your back. I didn't want to go, Fuzzy. Honest, I didn't. Now, don't talk. Just rest easy. You're going to be all right, Tom. I reckon you learned your lesson the hard way. You made a mistake, but I never held that against you. Because I always know you straighten out. Preach to me, Fuzzy. Well, this, this ain't no time for preaching. Like you used to. Please. Well, you see what happens to outlaws. They all get caught sooner or later. Them bombs just can't beat the law, Tom. They either stop a bullet or wind up with a rope around their neck. Outlaw is just another name for a fool. You see what I mean, Tom? I... Tom. Tom. He told me he was trying to get back when I get shot. Him. I'd like to get my hands on that man. But you want a chance to even the score? Yeah, I sure do. You got yourself a job. Come on, we're traveling. We better take care of him first. Okay. Ain't that them? Now take it easy, Fuzzy. Are you crazy? They'll get away. That's what I want them to do. Well, now I know you're local. First you tell me that you've arranged with the governor so late and escaped, and when we catch up with them so that we... You'll hold your tongue, Wagon, for a minute, I'll explain. Remember last spring when Daggett and his gang held up the Piedmont National Bank? Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly... They got away with over $50,000. That's right. When they were caught, the money was missing. And $50,000 belongs to the ranchers in Piedmont Valley. A lot of them are my friends. If we don't get it back, they'll be out of business. Well, they're my friends, too. Uh, you got any clues to where it is? Yes, yeah, it's my idea that Daggett hid it out until the day they'd be free. Hmm. You suppose they're heading to where it's hid? That's what I've convinced the ranchers and the governor. Come on. mine. You suppose them low-down varmints hid the money in there? That's my hunch. Hey, look, Billy, there's their horses. They must be in there. <laughs> Your hunch was certainly right. This is one shooting scrap that I'm going to enjoy. I mean, no gunplay, Fuzz. Daggett's got to be taken alive and with the money. Dead men can't talk, you know. Uh, that poor cat will talk and all the rest of it when I get through with him. Come on.
Now, remember, fight no gunplay. Oh, shucks. The way you talk, people think I didn't know nothing. Do you? Yeah. Uh... Now, keep quiet, Fuzz, and stay close to me. If I get any closer, I'll be in your hip pocket. that bunk all this stuff in here being a deserted mine. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we can find something to eat. Huh? We've got more important things to do than eat. Well, what, for instance? Find that money. We're wasting our time. Yeah, ain't been digging here long enough to have found all the Just money. Just a lot of digging and no money. That's him, all right. Let's rush him. Put it behind these rocks. Are you sure that's the right rock? I'd swear this is the place to put it. You ain't trying to fool us, are you, Daggett? What's your talk, Kellen? Fighting among ourselves ain't gonna find that money. Yeah, I maybe picked the wrong spot. Are there more tunnels? Yeah, plenty more tunnels. Which means we gotta search every one of them. What do you know about that? <laughs> they can't find it. Daggett's no good to us unless he does find the money. Well, what are we gonna do? Oh, Dag, never we're wasting time around here. I'll make them talk. Will you hold your tongue? You're the boss, Daggett. Now what do we do? It's been over a year since I hid the money. You know that. Maybe it is in another tunnel. It's a fine mess, if you ask me. Nobody asks you. Maybe you'd like to breeze along without the money. I'm staying and I'm getting my share. How about the law? We're not exactly free. Mine's as good a hideout as any. They'll never look for us here. <laughs> Men, take them in that room. We'll find out who they are. All right, move. Get, get going. going. Don't worry, Billy. I'll get you out of this. Yeah, like you got me into it. Yeah. Uh, no. Who are you? I'm Bill Carson. This is my partner, Fuzzy Jones. You ever hear of him? No. no. What are you doing in this mine? 
I could ask you the same thing. Smart, huh? You know who I am? Yeah, you Link Daggett. Biggest pole cat in these parts. He's just about your size, Daggett. Shut up. Do you know if me and my men just escaped from prison? Yeah. Who told you? You just did. <laughs> Hold it, Daggett. We want to find out what they're doing here. I got a hunch one of them tried to scare us with that lamp. So you're Billy Carson, eh? That's right. Well, you better talk and talk straight. Now, what are you doing in this mine? Well, you could call it prospecting. Prospecting for what? Well, we heard there was a lot of undiscovered gold in this mine. Oh, hear that, man? We he heard there's <laughs> undiscovered gold in this mine. What kind of gold? Are there two kinds? <laughs> Getting funny ain't going to help you none. We fooled around long enough. Wait a minute, Daggett. I want to hear this whiskered fella laugh. Oh, we're just wasting our time. We got to make sure there's no one else in the mine. All right, laugh. What kind of a laugh are you looking for? You know what I mean. Well, now, if you want to laugh like a hyena, but I don't reckon I can do that. Uh, but if you want to laugh like a jackass, I... Laugh, can't. idiot. Can't do it. Ain't nothing funny around here to laugh at. I can tell you it wasn't Fuzzy who laughed. You know too much already. You're right, Daggett. We are wasting time. This is going to be a pleasure. Uh, maybe, uh... Maybe I can tell you where that money is you're looking for. Hold it, Daggett. He's bluffing to save his neck. Sure he's bluffing. That's what I say. We'll soon find out. Okay, start talking. Where's the money? Oh, I'll have to take you to it. Why, he's stalling. If he knows where the money is, why didn't he get it himself? Answer that. Why didn't you? <laughs> That's where we were headed when you caught up with us. You're dang right we were. Well, you must have been going piggyback. Which one are you taking, Callan? Whiskers. That's good enough for me. You can't get away with this, Daggett. Uh, the law will catch up with you. <laughs> that shot came from out there. And the laugh, too. Wait a minute. What about these fellas? Lucas, you stay here. Right. That <laughs> sure was a close call. We're not clear yet. He'll be back. Oh, that fired that shot sure done us a favor. Yeah. I wonder who else is in this mine. Maybe that fellow that done the shooting did the laughing, too. Whoever it was is interested in that money, too. Well, at least he's on our side. I can't believe anything anymore. We've got to get rid of these ropes and quick. <sighs> never see the nut tie so tight. Hey, Fuzz. Yeah? See if you can loosen this spout of mine with your teeth. Uh, uh, can you stand up? Yeah. How's that? Not his shirt tied. Bite hard, Fuzz. If I only had a knife, this would be easy. Can't seem to budget. Keep working, that's our only chance. Hurry up, brother. If I only had a knife. Come on. What are you doing back there? Huh? That's it. Now you're getting it. How'd you get your hands free? Who, me? Well, I'll be doggone. That rope's been cut. Cut? Yeah, with a knife. That's what I thought you said. Uh, Hey, you mean somebody sneak up behind me with a knife? And exactly. Oh, Billy, come on, let's get out of here. Not so fast, huh? Oh, Billy, but we... I've got a job to do. First, I've got to get that money back and then put Dagan and his gang back where they belong. Of course, if you're afraid. Who, 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 who's afraid? Come on. Sit down, sit down. Let's tie up. Now we can finish what we started. There's plenty of time to deal with them after we find the money. That is, if we find it. 
I know where it is. That's what you've been telling us. He also said he knows where it is. Uh, he's lying to save his skin. I ain't so sure. There's a lot of funny things going on. That fellow that's doing the laughing that's still loose and these two being in the mind at the same time ain't no accident. I'm for keeping my eye on these two until we get what we come for. There'll be plenty of time to finish them then. Your partner's smart, Daggett. I'll say he is. Shut up. Yeah, Callan's right. Sure he's right. All right, Daggett, let's see if you can find the right tunnel. Lucas will stay here and watch these two. I'll find it. Come on. Don't take any chances. We won't be far away. Right. Daggett will never find that money. He's gone into the wrong tunnel again. Yeah, it's too bad. Uh, do you know where it is? That's what we said, didn't we? If we show you where it is, will you cut us in? I'll have to ask Daggett. Why bother about him? I know I know you two ain't fooling. I, we wouldn't fool you, Lucas. Say, uh, can I have one of your cigarettes? Sure. between me and this place. Oh, yeah? I thought you said you weren't scared. I ain't scared. Well, then what are you running out on me for? You don't see me running, do you? Look, somebody's got to stay here and watch this hombre while I chase Daggett. Well, why can't we both go? He'll stay tied. I'm taking no chances. There's a man out here with a knife who cuts ropes. Yeah. Now, you stay here. Keep on your toes. what you said before. I told you you could breathe alone. Maybe I will if you don't get your brain to working better. Let's cut out the argument. All right, all right.
reach. Howdy, miss. What do you want around here? I, uh... I you were just... trailing my father. Yeah, that's right. I want to have a talk with him. You have a funny way of trying to talk to a man. What do you want? I'll gladly tell you if you put that rifle down. You know, I don't trust a girl with a gun in her hand. Go on, put it down. You can trust me. What's your business with my father? Well, you see, uh... like somebody else's business with your dad. Yeah, it's Cliff Walters. By the way you say that, Mr. Walters isn't much of a friend. He's not. He's head of the bank in Piedmont and holds a mortgage on father's mine. Your dad owned the wild horse? Yeah, but I wish he didn't. It's brought him nothing but bad luck, and besides that, it's worthless. Well, come along if you want to see my dad. Morning, Ed. You don't seem pleased to see me. Why should I be? That shows your ingratitude. You come to me to borrow money and agree to pay it back. And when it comes time to pay and you can't, you blame me. I've been lenient with you, Ed. I've given you two extensions. I had more than enough money in that bank to pay you off before it was robbed. All of which is no fault of mine. It should be. We all kept our money in that bank for safekeeping. The way you and the ranchers talk, you think that I held up the bank. You might as well. All this talk won't get us any place. I did you the courtesy of riding out here to talk things over with you. But your insults leave me but one course. I demand possession of the wild horse mine by noon tomorrow, or I'll bring the sheriff out here and bar the entrance. That's all I have to say. You'll never take the mine away from me. If you're crazy enough to put up a scrap, the sheriff will take care of that. I could pay you off. There's only one way you could pay off that loan. By making a strike. Strike? Well, maybe I did. Well, Ed, if you have made a discovery, I might reconsider it. Mind you, I said I might. I've always believed there was a rich vein in there. Why, we might even work out a partnership. Oh, no. I know what a partnership with you would be like. You'd find a way to squeeze me out. If that's the way you feel about it, you will have to take the consequences. I've done all I can. By noon tomorrow, I want possession of that mine. Well, this is the man I want to see. I want to see my father. I'll be back. doing? Would you mind looking after those horses for me? Well, you've got a lot of nerve. First I find you trailing my father no, and now I you... show up with four horses. Be a good girl and keep an eye on them, will you? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Billy Carson. I don't think you told me your name. Oh, I'm Marion Garnet. Marion Garnet, that's a pretty name. You're pretty, too. to Piedmont? Straight ahead, about 10 miles. I'm heading there myself. I'm Bill Carson. Mind if I ride along with you? Uh, Brooks is mine, Jim Brooks. Better have your company. You're a rancher, aren't you, Jim? Well, I am today. 
There's no telling what I'll be by tomorrow. What's the matter? You having trouble? Yeah, plenty. It's a long story, but the banker down in Piedmont has foreclosed on all the ranchers, and we've been served notice to pay before noon tomorrow or get out. That's bad. Say, will a fellow by the name of Jed Bennett be in town? He's a friend of mine. Yeah, Jed will be there, and so will all the other ranchers. We've got to do something to save the ranchers, but right now I don't know what. I have a hunch things will work out all right. It's going to take a lot more than hunches with a man like Cliff Walters. I can't understand your sense of reasoning, Mr. Carson. You come in here, a perfect stranger, and ask me to grant extensions to the ranchers, also at Garnett. They've had extensions. Now the bank is forced to look out for its own interests. I'm only asking for another 24 hours. Yes, but what assurance can you give me that the loan will be paid then? I can give you my word. Your word? Yes, it's always been good. Yes, but how do you propose to make the settlement? It'll take close to $50,000. What's your scheme, if you have any? I have a scheme and a good one. But I can't tell you what it is right now. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Carson, but I can't accept your wild idea. Banks deal with written agreements backed up by sufficient collateral. The money must be paid by tomorrow noon. Good day, Mr. Carson. I said good day. All right, Walters. I'll be back by tomorrow noon. Well, what's the news? What's he saying? Just a minute, man. Just a minute. Let Billy talk. I want to call you men here tomorrow at noon. Did Walters grant an extension? Yeah, he convinced me it wouldn't be necessary. Everything's going to be all right. I have a job to do between now and then. I'll be seeing you, Jen. Well, it's not. It works like time coming back. I ain't worried about him. Yeah, there's three men against him out there. <laughs> Did you think a dozen like that? Yeah, what are you going to do when Daggett comes back? Mm, I'll take care of him. Yell out of you like that, it'll be your last year. Listen, that is again, it ain't human, I tell you, it's something else. I'm telling you, it ain't human, it's something else out there. It's something else, I tell you. Don't go talking like that, there ain't no ghosts out there. Well, you heard the laughing. Sure, I heard it. That coyote, who you thought it was of me. Yeah, but it's something else, something else, I tell you. I mean, I told you to stop that ghost talk. I'm getting out of here. Hey, I'm gonna plug you get to sure as shooting. Look, let me go out, I'll do anything you want. There's something on that mind, something ain't human, I tell you. Let me go! Dang that one more peep out of you. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. There it is again. There's something out there. Hey, I wouldn't go out there. Anything out here that can make that kind of a noise can stop a bullet. Can it?
What happened? Oh, brother, am I glad to see you? Am I glad? Now, quit your blubbering. Quit your blubbering. Tell me what happened. Where are Daggett and his men? I don't know. You don't know? Have they left? No, they're still in there, but I just had a fight for my life. A fight with Daggett? No, a fight with the most ferocious, man-eating, flying animals you ever seen. They had claws like tigers and teeth like a lion. Winked at me and then flapped their wings and just flew right at me. And I... Hold up, hold up, first. Take it easy. Oh, it easy. I'm telling you the truth. I tell you I am. Where are these flying, man-eating animals? Uh, they're in a tunnel. Come on, I'm from Missouri. Uh, you mean we're going in there? That's right. Not we. Are you going to give me more trouble? Me give you trouble? Uh -huh. Well, Dag Nabbit, where have you been? You go off and leave me all alone and I have to fight for my life? Yeah, I've been doing some investigating. I haven't got time to talk now. Come on. Go ahead. I'm behind you. How far? Looks like you're wrong again, Daggett. Now what do we do? Well, I guess it's in another tunnel. That's all we've been hearing is another tunnel, another tunnel. I'll say it, give it up. Besides, there's funny things going on around here. Whiskers and his pal got away, and they may be bringing back the sheriff. Yeah, my neck's worth more than money. Well, if you fellas want to tear out, it's all right with me. I broke out of prison to find that money, and I'm going to find it. I think I know where it is. You know. I suspect old man Garnet has it. Garnet? Who's he? Come on, men. We're wasting our time. Go ahead. Tear out if you want to. I'm staying, Daggett. What about you, Moffat? I'm staying. Well, I'm not. All right, Lucas. That's the way you want it. No hard feelings. I'll go with you to the mine entrance and see if the coast is clear. Well, that's good enough for me. That's bad. Oh, that's good. We're left to deal with. I promised the governor I'd bring them all back to prison. Come on, we gotta hit them off. What was that? I, I ain't a bit curious. Well, I am. What's the matter? You scared? Yeah, who, 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 who's scared? I... Hey, what am I doing? We heard a scream. Did you hear anything? Why, yeah, I thought I heard something. Where's Lucas? I took him to the mine entrance, and on the way back, I was... Are you sure you took him to the entrance? Of course I'm sure. Are you insinuating... I ain't insinuating anything. Come on. I'll sure be glad when we get out of this place. Things are laughing and screeching at you. 
I'm telling you, Billy, that... Hey, Billy. 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 Oh, Billy! Uh, uh... Time for you to go peek it around here. What are you looking at anyway? Hey, thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm the richest man in these parts. <laughs> if it belonged to me, I don't move. you about the man eating animals. No. You sure wouldn't believe me when I tell you what I just see. What'd you just see? Oh, I saw a man that's lying dead out there. Dead, eh? Now we can't think about that now. We've got to find that money and find it quick. There's a man who knows where it is. Yeah, that's me. You? Yeah. Well, why didn't you take me to it? Come on. I... You go first. Who do you think finished Lucas, Daggett? Your guess is as good as mine. There's others in here besides us. Hey, let's jump. There's only three of them. We will in just a second. You want me to guess? I asked you, do you want me to guess? I don't like your talk, Callum. You're gonna like it. Now, look, Callum. No use you and me quarreling. I feel just as bad about Lucas as you do. I've thought it all out. I can take you right to the money. You ain't taking us no place until we figure out who finished Lucas. Now look, Cal, if you think that I, I don't... I don't think. I know. You killed Lucas. For that thing, it's liable to go off. That's right. <coughs> I wouldn't shoot you, Whiskers. <coughs> There's only one man I want. Only one man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Italian. You didn't expect to see me again, did you? Boy, yeah. Glad to see you, Kellen. Glad you're all right. I'm going to kill you, Daggett. Look out behind you, Kellen! Daggett and me. <coughs> We're bloody smart. Hey, did you get that fella Daggett? Both of them. They got each other. Uh, this one here ain't got much fight left in him. I gotta get into Piedmont with that money. Hey, are you local? The money's in the mine. I saw it. What time is it, Fudge? Time? Yeah, look at your watch. Mm. About 11.30, what? Uh, meet me in Piedmont with your prisoner here. Well, I'll be doggone. Just plain local. <laughs> I don't know where that money is. Who are you looking at? Don't come closer. You know what I'm here for, Mr. Garner. I want to take that money back to the bank. I don't know what you're talking about. Money? What does he mean? Your father knows what I mean. I've got a half an hour to get into Piedmont. The ranchers are waiting for me. If I don't get there in time, they'll lose their ranches and you'll lose your mind to Mr. Walters. My father done something? No, he's just had a lot to worry about. He's all right now. Thank <laughs> you. 